Hi everyone, my name is Brittany from Esri Canada Technical Support and today we're going to talk about how to recover lost licenses from my Esri, our self-serve online portal. Licenses can get lost or unrecoverable due to either a reformatted computer, hard drive crash, or a lost or stolen computer. If you still have access to the machine with your license, please proceed to deauthorize it. Instructions on how to deauthorize your licenses can be found as a link in the description below. So if you lost your license due to the aforementioned reasons, your Esri administrator or my Esri users with the take licensing actions permission can recover lost licenses directly from their account. They will be asked to review and accept the terms and conditions to sign the certificate of destruction. Please note, this will also confirm that all other solutions to rectify the problem have failed. If you're unsure who your Esri administrator is, please contact Esri Canada's technical support team via our contact information in the description below, and we can provide you with these details. Once you meet those requirements, let's proceed to recover your licenses. Now, there are two different ways to recover your licenses. Option one, by searching for the specific ArcGIS product. Option two, by searching the machine's unique machine number, otherwise known as the UMN ID. If you'd like to recover your lost license by searching for the specific ArcGIS product, let's begin by logging into your MyEsri account. To reiterate, you must have either administrative permissions or the take licensing actions permission. Once you're logged in, you can find the recover lost licenses form under my organizations, under licensing, and by clicking recover lost licenses. To start, let's select I know of at least one Esri product on the machine and click next. As an example, let's say you lost an ArcGIS desktop basic single-use license and click Next. After that, you'll find a list of machines that have the license. Then you can select the machine from which to recover the license. A good hint to confirm the machine you're looking for is by checking the authorized by field if the end user originally authorized the license. On the next page, we'll see a summary of all the relevant licenses that were lost on that particular machine. So please review this carefully before proceeding. Here on this page, please review the terms and conditions and sign the certificate of uninstallation slash removal and destruction to proceed. Then we can click next. Here you can carefully review the selected licenses to recover one last time. If you notice the ineligible for license return warning in red, please contact our technical support team to recover your lost license. The contact information is in the description section below. Otherwise, you may proceed to process the return. If you'd like to recover your lost license by searching the machine's unique machine number, also known as UMNID, get your UMN number ready and let's begin by logging into your MyEsri account. Once you're logged in, you can find the Recover Lost Licenses form under My Organizations, under Licensing, and by clicking Recover Lost Licenses. To start, let's select I have the machine's UMN IDs and click Next. Then you can enter your UMN ID. Some machines have one UMN ID, others have two, so you can enter either IDs here. This will narrow down your search results to all the licenses linked to that particular machine. Please review this carefully to ensure this is in fact the correct machine before proceeding. Here on this page, 
please review the terms and conditions and sign the certificate of uninstallation slash removal and destruction to proceed. Then we can click next again. And finally, here you can carefully review the selected licenses to recover one last time. Similar to the other method of returning licenses, if you notice the ineligible for license return warning, please contact our technical support team to recover your lost license. The contact information is in the description section below. Otherwise, you may proceed to process the return. After either of these methods, your licenses should now be recovered and can be authorized on a different machine. Under the relevant license codes, you should see a returned on my Esri note as an activity type within 48 hours. If you're having any issues with these steps, please do not hesitate to contact our technical support team. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave comments and or suggestions below. Lastly, if you want to see more Esri Canada technical videos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.